Take 26. Action. Okay, let's go for another one. It's me with Diary of an Angry Housewife. And this is the 26th time I've tried to do this video to where it sounds perfect. I just want to make sure everything's perfect for you guys because you guys are awesome. So let's get started. Today I want to talk about people who post crappy shit on Facebook. Facebook statuses. Whatever. Um, if you're going to post a negative Facebook status about some people, a large group of people, don't expect to not get backlash from it. Personally, I don't comment on crap like that because I'm not confrontational. And sometimes I just want to slap a bitch in the face. You know? That's what's going to happen. Um, today I'm going to talk about the one Facebook statuses that piss me off the most and that would have to be ones who want to talk dirty about um, teen moms basically I was 18 and 19 when I had my kids wasn't as young as like 16 and pregnant like the TV show um, I was 18 and 19 when I had my kids um, I was not married when I got pregnant with my son it happens people um, some people can't always there are religions and everything where people don't believe in birth control. Sometimes the birth control doesn't work. Yes, it's true. I know someone who was taking birth control that ended up being recalled and she got pregnant. Um, yeah. Oh, also, just because you want to wait until you're getting ready to birth to put a condom on, don't be stupid, okay, guys? You don't want to get a girl pregnant. Wear it the whole time. Uh, my husband knows this is true because my daughter came from, I guess you kind of understand where I'm going with this. Um, Pre-ejaculation, guys, it really happens and you can get a girl pregnant. That's how my daughter was born, conceived, whatever. Um, yes, it is true. Um, we knew about a certain time when I got pregnant we were like oh that must have been it go to the doctor you're two weeks further along than you really thought now he finally believes me um <laughs> anyways so let's get started with the whole thing before I go off the freaking wall okay so people want to post negative Facebook statuses about teen moms I really hate it I don't comment on them I'm pretty sure I've already said that it drives me insane because they don't understand what young moms go through. Okay, we've got to go paycheck to paycheck to re to in order blah, 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 to get everything that we want to get our kids like diapers, food, formula, clothes, medicine when they get sick because babies will catch anything, and they put everything in their freaking mouths. It's insane. Um. We lose a lot of our friends because they get to go out and do stuff that we don't get to do anymore. I'm not regretting not going out and getting drunk every weekend. I mean, yes, it would be nice once in a while, but it doesn't happen. And I'm not upset about it because I don't get hangovers like everybody else does. Yes! Awesome. I think I've actually been drunk. Let's see. There's that one. Oh, that one was bad. Um... That one was pretty bad, too. I think I've been hung, hung over maybe like five times in my life. Um, I always had a babysitter, though, so don't think that I'm like a horrible person. I'm 22, you know. I think I'm doing pretty good with only getting hung over, you know, five times in my life. But, um, you know, y'all get to go out and do that. Great. Kudos to you for getting hung over. Um, when you're a young mom, when you're pregnant, when you're really young, there are people out there who are going to give you dirty looks. If you're one of those people who gives dirty looks, screw you. You know why? Because it freaking, it's horrible. We're going through our hormones like nobody's business. We could snap like that. Like, boom, snap. Different person. Like, Yeah, that's like a pregnant girl. Um, 
I was out with my mother-in-law one time, and this lady I knew, I grew up with her kids, softball, basketball, everything. I'm out in public. She starts telling, like, talking to me like I am the dirt on her shoe, okay? I'm pregnant. I'm 18 years old. I'm married now, and you're talking shit to me like I'm in a much better position than your kid right now. Go figure. Um... I hate stupid bitches like that. Um, my family members, um, I keep saying, um, like it's nobody's business. Okay. So my mother's side of the family, everyone grew up pretty freaking conservative. Um, you know, don't have sex till you're married. Don't have babies till after you're married and have had sex. Um, Republicans, yada, yada, yada. So, we got married. We had our re wedding reception. I was like seven, eight months when our re wedding reception happened. My great aunt comes, not knowing that I'm pregnant. Right after that, she called my Uma, and she, which is my grandma, and told her that my child was a mistake and blah, 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 blah. My grandma basically told her to go stick it where the sun don't shine. I freaking love Uma. She's awesome. Um... That made me so happy when I, I didn't find out about this until like a year and a half ago that that woman actually said that. Drives me crazy. I don't send her letters anymore. I don't want nothing from you because your kids are pretty pieces of crap too. At least one of them is that I know of. Oh, these people drive me insane. Um, one other thing that these people probably won't get to experience, especially at some such a young age, some of them won't experience it at all, is having such a young person and they need you. And, you know, you've got all the love in the world right there in your arms. Sometimes you might be like, oh my god, my kids are driving me freaking insane. <coughs> <coughs> I That happens to me a lot. Like, I lose my freaking top off my head. It's freaking ridiculous. But some of these people, it's just like, oh my god, guys, wake up. Understand that, you know, we've got a lot going on. We've probably got a lot more than you going on. I'm not saying that because I don't know. There's different situations for everybody. It's not always easy. Sometimes I feel like the 16 and Pregnant show or whatever kind of makes it not seem as bad as it really is. It's not a bad thing, trust me. I don't regret having my kids. But I feel like some people are like, oh, I'm going to go get pregnant so I can go get on the show. I, it's not... I love the show. I watch the show. But sometimes I'm just like, really? Come on now. But this is how I feel... I think from now on, if I see people posting statuses about that, I'm going to start commenting on them because I'm just sick and tired of it. But yeah, so that's my video for today. I think it turned out pretty good. Don't post negative Facebook status about young moms. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.